Hey what's happening guys, Jacob here from JustifiedWebDesign.com and today I'm going to show you how to install and remove RAM from a Mac Mini. Now the Mac Mini that I'm using today is late 2012 model, 2.3 GHz, quad core i7, it's currently running a 4 GB, 4 GB of RAM, which is fast enough for the everyday user, but for more strenuous uh, applications like Photoshop and Adobe After Effects, I'm going to install 16 GB. So the first thing you need to do is shut your computer down, which I have just now done. It's shut down, and I'm ready to start removing the wires. Removing the wires is important because you don't want electricity or the wires connected because it limits uh, how you can maneuver your Mac Mini while you're installing it, and it's just easier to have the Mac Mini completely disconnected from everything. It's completely disconnected now, and I'm going to flip it over and put it on something soft so that the beautiful Apple design on the back side doesn't get scratched up. As you can see there, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, if my arm wasn't in the way, there's a locked symbol and a open circle, which the closed circle means it's locked and the open circle is obviously unlocked. You're just going to turn it counterclockwise and pop it right off. Uh, as you can not see here, because I was holding it outside of the camera is the levers on each side of the RAM you're going to both pull them outward with both hands as you'll kinda of be able to see in the video in just one moment so once you release the levers the RAM is going to just pop up at a 30 degree angle see there it just popped right up and you're just gonna pull it straight out you want to make sure to pull it straight out and not pull it out, out at a different angle because you can damage the RAM chip, the RAM, or your, more importantly, your computer. RAM is far less expensive than your computer, so you don't want to damage your computer. Now the second one's the same way. You pull the levers on the outside and it'll pop up. It'll also be at a 30 degree angle, but it's a little bit more difficult to maneuver or to remove from your computer. I'm going to go ahead and take the 16 gigabytes of RAM or the single 8 gig card and place that in the bottom. So I'm going to place it, slide it in and turn it at a 30 degree angle and just push it in until it's secure. It'll be firm and push it down until I hear a click, which the levers will hold it down and that's the click that you hear. I'm now going to take the second one. The second one is going to be the more difficult one. I had to turn the Mac Mini sideways to kind of get a better view <coughs> and as you can see there you kind of slide it in at a 30 degree angle the same way that you took out the other one and snap it until you hear a click now you have 16 gigabytes or whatever the amount of RAM that you just installed on your Mac Mini and you're ready to put the back cover back on this time you're going to turn it clockwise until it's on the close symbol and you're ready to begin plugging your computer back up and with the magic of technology, I, I, it only took me about a second to plug all that back in. And you're ready to launch your Apple with the new RAM in it. Thanks for watching. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. And check out the videos that are coming soon.